hi again so let's continue our course this is basically the part three this is the last part we have seen that always voltages will be applied to another circuit over here to get other voltages basically we called it re means those voltages will be used in s0 state that's why that's why we have re but those are used in s5 and s4 state okay we have always once the adapter is connect, connected of course sas will you will be used in s3 state this is basically 1.5 volt for the memory okay but those we have running means S0 when the laptop is totally on. Okay, then we have over here 29. We have seen that 1.05 volt PCH is basically the VCCP, the voltage necessary to power the termination or the buses between the processor and the PCH. Without this voltage, nothing will be transferred between the pch as you can see and the cpu okay so this is a very important voltage the same exactly as 0.75 volt for ddr or for the ram without this voltage for termination even if 1.5 volt is present nothing will be will be transferred no data transfer will be occurred between the ram and the notch bridge okay so we have 29 so once this voltage is generated so the communication will be occurred will be happened between the cpu and the pch okay so 30 we have 1.05 volt pch power good of course uh, always power good please uh, always power good is coming after after generating a voltage for example here after generating 1.05 volt okay this circuit will send a, a control signal to inform another circuit here we have basically enabled okay to this circuit in order to generate another voltage 1.8 volt you see 1.8 volt running this voltage also is also very important for the cpu also for the cpu okay so 32 another voltage vcc sa this voltage basically also is used for termination and to power uh, to power some component and part within the cpu inside the pc the cpu and inside the pc guys here we are in s5 basically i mean s0 we are in s0 state when you you we get to this stage where we have core cpu core and uh, like vcc gfx etc means we are in s0 means the laptop is on is totally on okay so 32 33 we have basically vcc for the core we have two voltages we have enable and we have core so after of course after receiving the enable signal here we have another circuit after receiving the enable signal it will generate the vcc car and the vcc power grid always the vcc power grid coming after this voltage means it will let other circuit to know that the voltage is generated correctly the same working principle here for example if you focus here guys here we have 3.3 volt and 5 volt when this ic generate these two voltages this ic should send a power good signal to embedded control letting them to know that the uh, i mean the the, the voltages to 3 volts and 5 volts are generated okay always the same working process okay so then we will move to basically here 25 for 25 we have many part 25.1 we have the gpu power n enable this is enable signal 25.2 uh, plus 3 volt gfx basically 25 is for as you can see the gfx this is for gpu for graphic card okay for graphic card then we have 36 37 here we have the mvp vr on and embedded control power 
this is very important this basically this stage means the embedded control signals input signals output signals are okay once the embedded control generate this ec power okay means the empty control part and inputs and outputs are good are okay then we will move to 38 so 38 we have basically dram power good 39 we have pch clock here we have the clock 40 of course here very important guys do not neglect please do you see this is two and this is basically end gate not or gate all those are end gate how end gate works basically end gate need the the signal here will not be generated will not be okay if these two signals are not present if for example one signal here is present here we will get zero no no signal will be generated okay but when the two signals are generated we will get an a positive input the same for this one the same for this one okay so this is very important for the cpu and for the gpu guys so after that of course we have the power good for the cpu so the pch also okay in 41 after all this, after generating the power OK but by the MZ control, the PCH now will generate the power good. Do you see here? We have power good. It will generate the power good for the CPU. After that, the CPU will receive the voltage identification, VIDs. OK, VIDs. In order to generate the plus VCC core, do you see? We have 42. Once the CPU, I mean the CPU will generate the VIDs or the voltage identification based on this about six or seven signals. Uh, parallel signals based on this IDs the CPU or the uh, basically the uh, as you can see here the, 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 the controller IC will generate plus VCC code you see we have 42 the CPU will generate as you can see VIDs over here you see here we have uh, VID then this IC will generate, as you can see, plus VCC core 43. This is basically the core voltage, the main voltage for the CPU, 43. Then we have the MVP power good. After generating always VCC core, we have power good 44. Then we will get 45, the system power, okay, means everything here is good, will be reported here to the PCH. Then a very important signal we have PLT reset means everything is good over here. Then we will get the GPU reset to reset the GPU. Then everything, everything will work fine in the laptop. So this is guys how you can troubleshoot. So basically I advise you, this is the part three to watch and rewatch two times or even three times the part one part two and part three because the timing diagram as i told you before is a very important approach if you want to master to troubleshoot and fix any laptop you encounter just master the timing uh, diagram and the power sequence and of course the power rails the the, the, the the last video I have uploaded you gonna master you gonna understand everything about how to troubleshoot isolate and fix any computer so uh, as I told you I advise my advice if you want to accelerate learning you can just watch this part three parts two times three times or as you want or if you want to to accelerate learning more and more very quickly you can join me in my Python page all links in the description basically the schematic as i told you you're gonna find it in my Python page and please don't forget to like subscribe and share the video and Thank you very much and see you in the next video. And please, if you have any question, in the comment below. Thank you very much.